Number 15, this is 1946D Jefferson Nickel in MS67 Plus condition with full steps. Vividly toned specimen with wonderful surface preservation and sharp strike on reverse. Although some elements of Monticello display light softness, Porch exhibits delineated five steps. These elusive specimen ended up selling for $1306.12 with buyer's fee. Number 14. Here is 1948 Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. An awesome first year superb gem with great satin luster and lovely light toning variations that include pale gold, rose gray and sky blue. A near pristine coin with razor sharp striking definitions throughout. Very scarce at this grade level, it was sold for $5,287.50. Number 15. This is 1943D Steel Penny with repunched mint mark D over D. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. Zinc coated steel sand production was in full force in 1943 to preserve copper as a strategic material during the World War II. Dyes were created at the Philadelphia Mint as they always were, and then shipped to the branch mints where the workmen placed the mint marks in the dye and then sent them to the presses. On this particular dye, the D mint mark was first punched in too low and too close to Lincoln's coat and then was repunched in the proper position, resulting in a dramatic doubled mint mark variety. Examples are extremely hard to locate and are very popular with advanced collectors. This superb gem has brilliant light gray luster and pristine, virtually perfect surfaces. It was sold for $6,000. Number 12, this is 1973S Washington Quarter in PR70 deep cameo condition. Collectible superb gems that is unsurpassed in numismatic grading. PR70 is the topest grade available in coin grading scale for proof coins. Other than that, deep cameo designation indicates that this coin displays stark contrast between mirror-like fields and frosty device elements, meaning reliefs. It ended up selling for $6,022.50 with buyer's fee. Number 11, moving on with this 1926S Lincoln Scent in MS64 red condition, advanced Lincoln Scent collectors soon learned that the 1926S is a key date in full red, much rarer as such than the lower mintage 1909S VDB, 1914D and 1931S. The present orange, red and olive green has a good strike and exceptional eye appeal, a loop reveal only trivial contact and carbon. Housed in a green label holder, it was sold for $6,345. Number 10, this is 1957 Lincoln Scent in PR68 red deep cameo condition. The surfaces are pristine and each side displays picturesque contrast and liquid-like fields. Rather than deep copper orange color of many other proof Lincolns, the present coin has more mild copper pink patina. It was sold for $7,200. Number 9 is this 1910 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Plus red condition. Luster glistens in luminance on this high and superb gem, one of the finest known red 1910 Lincoln Scents. The O in one is weak, but the obverse of this coin is remarkably sharp, especially on Lincoln's shoulder. Rich copper orange and golden hues immerse the viewer in captivating cartful effect. A scarce coin in this grade, it was sold for $7,200. Number 8. Here is 1942 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 plus condition. A proof 68 plus grade indicates that the coin is in near perfect condition, with only minor imperfections. CEC approval further confirms the coin's quality. According to PCGS, in 1942, the US Mint struck two different proof Jefferson nickels. It struck the Type 1 clad version, and it also struck Type 2 silver version. The Type 1 does not have a P mint mark, while the Type 2 silver does have a P mint mark. Both coins have similar mintage. This Type 1 gem was sold for $7,200. 
$8,723.34 with buyer's fee. Number 7. This is 1950 Washington Quarter with Repunch Mint Mark S over D. Graded in MS67 Plus condition by PCGS and approved by CEC. The 1950 SD Washington Quarter is varieties that resulted from an over mint mark error at the San Francisco Mint. This means that the mint mark S for San Francisco was stamped over a previously punched mint mark D for Denver. The original mint mark D can be seen underneath the overprinted S on reverse. It ended up selling for $12,825 with buyer's fee. Number 6 here is 1944S Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. A wash in blended reddish gold, blue gray, and pale pink iridescence. This beautiful superb gem retains full vibrance to frosty mint luster. There is not so much as a single distracting abrasion or other blemish to limit either the technical quality or eye appeal. It was sold for $16,100. Number 5, 1952D Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. A frosty silver superb gem with bold cartwheels luster that supports peripheral golden toning highlights. Highly elusive in the superb gem grade, it was sold for $18,800. Number 4, 1936S Washington quarter in MS68 condition. Dusted with antique silver tinting, this delectable superb gem also exhibits a crescent of rich reddish russet iridescence along the left obverse border. Frosty surfaces are sharply struck and approach perfection. This kind of superior quality and eye appeal would be rare even on later date Washington Quarter to have it on an example of a semi-key date San Francisco Mint issue from the 1930s is truly remarkable. It was sold for $31,200. Number 3, 1919D Voking Liberty of Dollar in MS64 condition. Here is highly desirable choice mint state example of this key date half dollar issue. Both sides display abundant luster, the obverse essentially brilliant, and the reverse with only the lightest champagne gold iridescence in evidence. In mint states, this is the third rarest issue of this type, surpassed by only 1921S and 1919S. However, it's a severe strike rarity, with most uncirculated examples flatly struck in the centers and limited to the grades well below gem. It was sold for $28,800. Number 2, 1913 Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. Despite the mintage of more than 76 million pieces in pre war America, the 1913 Lincoln Cent is seldom seen even in MS66 red. MS67 gems are much more rarer. These pieces fully struck over both sides with no weakness in the usually seen areas. The surfaces are medium orange gold, mellowing only slightly to a seen arc of violet near the left obverse rim. A few tiny microflex appear only with the aid of loop. It was sold for $32,400. Number 1, and the most valuable lot of this episode, extraordinarily rare, red 1969 as Lincoln scent with double diverse. Writing in the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Dye Varieties of United States Coins, Bill Fevers and J.T. Stanton describes the 1969 SDDO Lincoln Sands The publicity this coin has received over its lifetime has been enormous, hence the very high values, which are well deserved. This is a very rare, strong double dye. One does not even need a loop to discern wide pronounced doubling to all of the letterings and the digits on the obverse. The spread appearing to grow towards the left border. Over the years, this cataloger has handled very few examples. This is an attractive piece with warm, even medium orange luster to both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by unaided eye. It was sold for $86,250. 
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this information helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.